Okay, so quick school, but how expensive is it? I am made to be free. Here's a place doing breakfast, Continental 255, a traditional for 290, Americano for 330, and a Cano for 420. So pretty good breakfast prices. Four dollars for French toast, you know, with fruit and a drink. Uh, this breakfast here for four dollars. It's scrambled eggs corn, right? Pretty good deals. Okay, so we're right now are at a park. If you go south of the main square, get to a river, cross the river, and just like 100 meters over, uh, you get to this nice park. Uh, it even has a planetarium in it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you around Cuenca a bit and show you how much it costs around town for various things, food, etc. Okay, so there's lots of free things to do in the city. Uh, a lot of museums. Okay, so we came to the Medical History Museum here. Uh, it's free technically to get in, but we did give uh, one, or they asked for a one dollar donation. So, pretty good, pretty neat museum. Pretty good value. As well as, you can get your workout in, in one of the parks, many workout things. But, uh, things like this planetarium over here are free to visit, they do shows, and a lot of the cathedrals and stuff, some of them have costs to go up into the towers or down into the catacombs. One of the things that we're doing is we're doing in the new church, the new cathedral off the main square, we're doing a tour of the crypts and it costs two dollars. You can add the terrace for one, but we're just going to do the crypts. So just two dollars for a tour of the crypts. So after checking out the free planetarium, which was terrible, uh, we are headed to the market for a cheap lunch, but there are cheap lunches absolutely everywhere. Two dollar almuzeras is I think what they're called. So here is uh, Ecuador's version of a set menu, like a menu of the day. Almuzeras. So for three souls, three dollars, <laughs> sorry, three American dollars. You get a soup in a second and then juice. And I think this here, where's my finger, is the dessert too. Here's another one. You get a noodle soup. And then are your options, right? There's some grilled pork and some some chickens, grilled chicken. Last one's like fried egg and rice or something. Yeah, so we got some good options for two dollars. Pretty reasonable. So that's the main square there. And then there's another lunch. Three souls for that one. And then there's another one. Here's another one. Sopa, Frida, and, and the barbecue, and, and someone else, and a juice and dessert. Two twenty-five. Okay, so we found this for lunch. Each one of these plates, not the world's biggest plates, but they're, they're pretty decent little portion. It's three dollars for this nice piece of pig here uh, with potatoes and all the fixings here. So we'll see how this is and maybe we'll grab a, something a little extra after. After our lunch at the market here, we've come to this bakery and I got one of these cookies here. So here it is, I got it. It's actually two, two in one. Give it a go here. It's like... It's a cookie cookie. Lemony. Oh. 50 cents, how can you complain? Pizza place, pizza and a juice for 70 cents. Big old slice of pizza. And, not even two stores over, the pizza and a juice for 60 cents. It's really good for being on a budget in Cuenca is being here on a Sunday. Because nothing at all is open. One of the things that I bought here was a SIM card. Uh, I went with the company Claro, just because that was the one that was in the store that was open. We stopped by. Uh, there's also like Movistar. Uh, from what I understand, they're pretty much the same. A SIM card costs $4, and then you can pay in increments of like one, three, or nine, or $15 for a certain amount of days. We went with the 30-day plan, which has like a gig and a half of data, and a bunch of talk and text and Facebook and WhatsApp, and that was $15. So with the SIM card, a phone for a month here costs $20. Okay, and so another thing I want to talk about was, like, water here, big jugs of water. We went just off the main square by a couple blocks, and we got a big six-liter jug of water for $1.50. So, it's actually the cheapest we've seen in Peru. The cheapest we were getting was eight souls for a seven liter jug. So that's about two and a half, three dollars or so. Whereas here you get a big six liter jug for a dollar fifty, which is pretty good. So we found this market here and they have five liter jugs for 99 cents. 
and one liters for thirty nine. So we paid a dollar fifty for six liters. So just a range of prices, but all pretty cheap. Okay, so the room that we have is two blocks off the main square, and it's a double room. It comes with a sink. It's a separate bathroom, and it costs us each uh, eight fifty a night because we're splitting. Obviously, a dorm here would be cheaper. But so because everything's closed down, uh, we're gonna go find some dinners. And then when we when we come back, we'll just relax. Cece will probably actually edit. And I grab some beer. Uh, it's like $2 for a liter. And I'll probably drink this and watch uh, Bethesda's E3 conference. So we found this place. Came recommended by, I think, some expats. Highly, so it's the, yeah. highly recommend. So it's the best burger he maybe has ever had. So it's a tall order, so we'll see. Okay, so we just got these burgers here. All right, the regular so he's got the fancy one uh, for a burger and a Coke here at this old joint. It's $5. It's very, very excited for this burger. It's pretty big. So this is where we went, Burger Radio Grill. Okay, so just on our way back from dinner, Radio Grill is the name again. So good. Super good, super good. Five bucks each for a big burger, glass of Coke. And now we're just headed back to the hostel to chill. So that uh, hopefully gave you an idea of the cost of having a day in, in Cuenca here. We're just across oh. the street. Oh, no, it's dangerous. <laughs> and if Gabriel ever happens to watch this, don't forget that imitation is the most sincere form of flattery.